Hi everybody, this is your follow-up video from the January 20 You Are the Reader piles. And we are starting with pile one. The only cards that need any amplification are these because the Lenormand and the Tarot had the explanations right on them. And of course the postcards from Spirit were just read straight from the postcard. So the Puffin card, Partnership. The subwords are Companionship, Colorful, Groups, Loyalty, Sensual, Good Parent, Awkward, Hard Worker, Fun. Puffins live in extremes of cold and seasonal darkness. They mate for life and their love keeps them warm. Puffins with their natural tuxedos are dressed up in black and white with just a touch of color. They have a big attitude and are very expressive. Puffins are caring and thoughtful parents. When they leave their young to go to sea, they leave their offspring with relatives for safety. Puffins are clumsy creatures on land, but are incredible dancers in the sea. They belong to the water. Their lives are long, loving, and never lonely. Puffin people share these amazing qualities. They are fun, colorful, hardworking, loving, and full of contrasts. They like to dress up and strut their stuff. Puffin people can see the best qualities and beauty in everyone and never focus on their foibles. If Puffin is your totem, the desire for a lifelong mate will be strong. Partnership is important to you. Cooperation to care for the young is a dominant point of focus. Warm companionship is your aim, so remember to nurture your relationships. And then look beyond the surface. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth to your world. Allow your senses to become aware of the perfection that surrounds you. Allure exists in all aspects of your life, in nature, in relationships, in your own being. If you're missing it, assess what you have been focusing your attention on and look for the beauty in your life instead. If you look, you are sure to find it. Get in touch with your sensuality through sight, smell, taste, and touch. Draw on your senses and experience contentment and deep satisfaction. It is time to treat yourself to a day of self-care. This could mean going to a spa, receiving a massage, enjoying new experiences, or simply spending more time with people you love. Discover new ways to creatively express yourself through dance, exercise, outdoor activity, painting, music, drama, or other art forms. This may be the perfect time to take up a new hobby, one which enables you to access the creative part of yourself. At first sight, it may appear that whales have warts covering their faces, bodies, and tails. But the bumps on a humpback whale's snout are tubercles, and their bodies become home to sea barnacles. Sea barnacles find locations in the ocean, from the shore side to the deep ocean, to attach. While juvenile barnacles swim and drift with the ocean currents, when they have nearly matured, barnacles find identical barnacles and attach to the same surface. They choose the site, which ranges from the bottom of a boat to the side of a whale. This means the barnacles on a whale's face are fully developed and immobile. The appearance of barnacles does not diminish the majesty and beauty of the whales. In fact, it gives the whale's bodies an interesting detail. So I guess there's a little aside for anyone that's self-conscious about uh, pimples or scars or wrinkles or whatever on their skin. The appearance of barnacles doesn't diminish the majesty and beauty of the whales, so why should those things diminish our beauty? All right, so those are the cards for pile number one. 
I'll be right back with the cards for pile number two. Hi, pile number two. This is a review of the cards in the... Oh my gosh, I can't even talk right now. I must need a nap. <laughs> this is amplification on the cards that were in your pile yesterday that might need just a little more fleshing out. Replacing what was lost. You are blessed with greater strength and abundance, great enthusiasm and new energy. You need to show ambition and move from where you are now to where you know you can be to increase your effectiveness. Be willing to keep moving forward with purpose. Draw on your divine energy and put the past situation in perfect order. A well-rounded, realistic and balanced view along with a well-considered plan that takes any future consequences of your action into account, is needed as you move. Be a visionary and take calculated risks. You have shifted and grown from all your life experiences. You will find that you have a fresh perspective pertaining to new endeavors. Your approach to your new opportunity will differ from how you've done things in the past. Allow your newly acquired knowledge to influence how you will proceed. Be willing to take breaks from your efforts if you need to gain a different outlook. Be assured that you have all the tools necessary to forge ahead. Starfish have amazing regenerative properties. Seeing a starfish reminds you that you are blessed with great strength and abundance. At times, this blessing may be hidden from you. If there has been an abrupt change, release whatever seems to be falling away. It may take a while before you see the divine outcome. Nurture and grow from this experience. Be willing to keep moving forward with intention. And Peacock Vibrancy. The peacock is the most iridescent of all birds. Their feathered cloak of blue, aqua, and gold is worthy of royalty. Their boisterous cries hold both mockery and laughter, which comes from their regal self-confidence. Peacocks are blessed with clear vision that notices the smallest detail. Because of their ability to eat poisonous snakes, peacocks were used as protectors in ancient temples. If peacock appears, good luck will follow. The feathers of peacock are symbols for protection, prosperity, and sensuality. They can be used in smoke rituals to cleanse and renew the aura. The peacock is a symbol for rebirth and new beginnings, like its cousin, the elusive phoenix. If peacock is your totem, you have a colorful and vibrant personality that is sure to win admirers. You can raise yourself to great heights of brilliance in your field. Peacock people have the gift of observation and keen perception. Your inner vision brings you wisdom and foresight. You must guard against letting your vanity or pride get the better of you. The best peacocks are just their authentic selves. Your positivity and radiance help lift others up to realize their own worth. You are crowned with beauty and grace. There you go, pile two. Be curious to know what you got out of the cards, different than that, or if it was the same. I'll be right back with pile three. Hi, pile three. These are the only two cards from your card reading yesterday that would need amplification. We're gonna start with polite declaration Assert yourself, be bold, and look after yourself. Be confident when expressing your needs and desires, otherwise you will not get your way. You need to have faith in yourself and fundamentally know who you are and what you stand for. When you champion yourself, it is important that you communicate your positive and negative feelings in a respectful manner. It is essential to speak your needs, but not leave the other person feeling diminished or fearful. Make sure you are clear about what your needs or wants are in this exchange. 
Your needs, wants, and goals are no less valid than those of others. Reflect on how you address communication. Have you been putting your needs second, trying to please someone else? Assert yourself, raise your voice, and enhance the respect in your relationships. Crabs can move in all directions, backwards, forwards, and sideways. This animal will help you choose the action best for the moment. Sometimes lateral movement is better than no movement. Trust the direction you are guided to take. Try something different. It is important to be balanced and continue to move as you progress to your next place. And Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard is the lord of silent power. They live in the harsh climates of the Himalayas where they cloak themselves in invisibility. Their inner knowing is enhanced by observation. If Snow Leopard is your ally, intuition is your gift. The more you use it, the more accurate, successful, and responsive it becomes. If you are a snow leopard person, this totem asks you to learn self-reliance. A clear path will open for snow leopard people if they watch for clues and signs from within. Feelings of tension arise when they are not aligned with intuition. Those with snow leopard as their totem need solitude. You require time alone, and if you begin to feel stifled, you must honor this need within you before you start to move forward. Snow leopard people do their best thinking, creating, and problem solving by themselves. They are master survivors. All leopards are linked with shamans, psychics, and intuitives. Snow leopards are regal, graceful, and daunting. They walk easily between the worlds, and if this is your totem, so will you. All right, pile three. Let me know if that amplification added anything to what you came up with yesterday. And I, or I'm sorry, I guess I got to remember these are timeless. So it might not be yesterday that you saw it. But, ah, you know, sorry. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, I am having a day. I'll be right back with pile four. Hi, pile four. These are the only two cards from the January 20th, you are the reader pile that you picked. And we'll start with Amble with Contentment. Trust your gut feelings or your sensitivity to give you information about your current situation. Let go of any doubts or uncertainties, as they are only going to cause you to become off balance. You may want some personal time to clear your thoughts. Things are coming to fruition, so trust that you only need to be present for this to unfold in the most positive manner. By allowing things to flow to you, you will enable yourself to become clearer about your decisions and your goals. While you might be feeling tired and wanting to give up, this card is about having faith and hanging in there. Have the patience to just allow. Take a step back and trust that the spiritual guidance you need is right there, ready and willing to assist you. Seahorses are considered mild-mannered and sedate creatures which are happy to roam the oceans. Their tiny stature is structured for sauntering. They do not travel at speed. They truly emanate the energy of patience and happiness. Seahorses are content where they are and do not hurry when making changes. The seahorse will wrap its tail around a piece of coral or some other structure to resist a strong current. They remind you to hold tight and bide your time if you find yourself being rushed or overwhelmed. All right, Pile 4, we are now all caught up on the cards that needed a little amplification, perhaps. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.